Hi everyone, it's Nate Johnson here from Fly Plugins, creators of WP Courseware. Now we all know that product creation is one of the best ways to strengthen relationships and build a loyal customer base, and also to build authority and credibility toward becoming a market leader in your niche. Now whether or not you're interested in creating a product to give away as a lead magnet to email subscribers, or you're looking to charge for a product to monetize your website, the chances are that you already have content on your blog or website that can be leveraged into a new product. And product creation tends to be incredibly time consuming. Writing an ebook or a free PDF report that you give away or sell to your customers takes lots and lots of time. I've done it and I know. So what I want to show you in this video is how you can leverage the power of WP Courseware to create a product for your customer base or your audience in under five minutes. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so once the plugin is installed and activated, we're going to add a new course. This is going to be a social media marketing course, so we'll give it a title and a description. We're gonna select that we only want uh, units available when the prior unit has been completed. We're going to automatically enroll new WordPress users for this course. We are going to configure our email address details so that when students complete a module or a course, they receive a congratulatory email from the instructor and we can also be notified when students complete courses or modules. So we'll go ahead and configure those. Send me an email, perfect. Then we're going to save our course settings for our social marketing course, social media marketing course. Now we'll go back to the course summary page and we will start adding modules to our course. Let's create a couple of modules. The first one will be a Facebook training module. Put that in the correct course and give it a description. We'll save it. And let's go ahead and go back to the course summary page and add another module. And we'll include a Twitter module here in our social media marketing course. Again, a description, save the details. Okay, perfect. So we have two modules within our social media marketing course. So we'll go ahead and take a look at those. And there they are. So we have module one and module two in our, in our new course. So now we need to create some units to put into our modules. You can either create units from scratch or use existing posts. And we actually have posts on our blog that we want to use within our new training course. So we can actually convert these to course units in WP Courseware with the click of a button. Now let's go into one and I'll show you where you do that. I'm going to scroll down here and in the sidebar you'll see the option to convert this post to a course unit. We'll click on that and confirm that we want to convert it to a course unit. Okay, we're all set and we can basically just do that for all of the WordPress posts that we want to convert to course units. Once we're finished we go back to our training course, go back to modules, units, and quiz ordering and adding your units to your modules within your course is as simple as drag and drop. So we'll just place these wherever we want them and get them in the order we need. Perfect. And always remember to save changes to your ordering. And great. We actually have a functional course on social media marketing, but Let's go ahead and add a quiz so that we can make sure that our students fully grasped all the concepts within our Facebook module. So we'll give the quiz a title and a description. This is only for us. Just plug that in there. We're going to set this to blocking quiz mode, meaning students are going to need to receive at least, achieve at least a 75% grade and we're going to show them the answers after completion so that they can review correct and incorrect answers. We'll save the quiz settings and then we can simply just add an unlimited number of multiple choice or true false questions. We can put those in and we can select the correct answer so that students are graded 
And again, they need to pass this quiz with a score of 75% or better to move on to the next unit. So we'll go ahead and we've added four questions here and two multiple choice, two true, false. We've saved this. And now when we want to place this quiz within our course, we simply go back to the ordering screen. There's our new quiz, module one. We're just gonna drop that into the last unit in module one. So before moving to module two, students will be required to pass this quiz. Okay, now we just create a new page and we paste in the WP Courseware short code for this course. That's in the documentation within the plugin itself. We just publish it. Let's open this page up and see what it looks like on the front end within our browser. And there you have it. We have a working social media marketing course that students can navigate through and we are finished. We have created a product in less than five minutes. How about that? So thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed this demonstration of WP Courseware.